iPad Pro M5 tip to land next year, but not until long after the iPad 11 and the next iPad Air 2025 could be a big year for iPads, as it now sounds like Apple might have refreshes for three models planned, namely the iPad Pro, iPad Air, and the base iPad. This is all according to Mark Gurman, who recently claimed that we'd see the iPad 11 and a new iPad Air in the spring, meaning sometime between late March and late June, alongside the iPhone SE 4, and in his latest newsletter for Bloomberg he said the same again. This time though Gurman added that the iPad 11 will apparently have roughly the same design as the iPad 10.9, 2022, but that it will get a speed boost, one that we imagine will also allow it to support Apple Intelligence. I in any case, these two tablets will be landing before too long if Gurman is right, but if you're holding out for a new iPad Pro then you might be waiting quite a lot longer. As in the same article Gurman said he doesn't expect this to land until either late 2025 or early. 2026. When it does, it will probably come running a new M5 chipset, but Gurman doesn't expect other major changes, since the design of the current model is only around 6 months old, mostly small upgrades. So while 2025 might be a big year in terms of the number of new iPads we see, it doesn't sound like these new models will be massive upgrades on the current ones. As such, you can probably safely buy the iPad Pro, 2024, right now, since it's likely still quite a wait for the next one, and possibly with only a new chipset to show for it. It might be worth waiting for the next iPad Air, since that could arrive in the first half of 2025, but the iPad Air, 2024, is still fairly new, so again, we might not see many upgrades. The most worthwhile of these products could be the iPad 11, since unlike the latest Air and Pro models, the iPad 10.9, 2022, doesn't support Apple intelligence. So even if this upcoming model does just have a new chipset, it could open up a whole new world of features. As ever we take these claims with a pinch of salt anyway, but German has a good track record, so there's every chance these release timings will pan out in 5 iPad Pro. Everything you need to know. Apple will soon update its Pro tablet. Here's our complete guide to the M5 iPad Pro coming in 2025 while the iPad update schedule is somewhat unpredictable. Apple has established an 18-month cycle with the iPad Pro, and the current M4 iPad Pro was released in May 2024. Several reports state that Apple is scheduled to release an M5 iPad Pro in the fall, which would be right on schedule. That means we're going to start seeing more reports about the new iPad Pro as the release date approaches. This article keeps track of all the rumors so you can keep up with what's going on and make a proper decision if you're in the market for a new iPad Pro. Updated June 24, 2025. A report states that Apple is considering new technology that would allow for smaller bezels on the iPad Pro, but it is unclear if this would be ready for the M5 iPad Pro. M5 iPad Pro. When will the new iPad Pro be released? The M5 iPad Pro is expected to arrive in September 2025 or later in the year. On March 31st, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported that the M5 iPad Pro is on schedule to ship in the second half of the year to die in January 2025. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported that the M5 iPad Pro won't ship until late 2025 or early 2026. In December 2024, analyst Ming-Chi Kuo reported that the M5 iPad Pro will enter mass production in the second half of 2025. In April 2025, German reported that iOS 19 will be ready around the time new iPad Pros with M5 chips are likely to be ready. iOS 19 is expected to be revealed at WWDC 25 in June and be released in the fall. With the M5 iPad Pro, Apple increased the price by $100-pound-100 across the different storage configurations. Apple redefined the M5 iPad Pro base model with 256GB of storage, instead of 128 gigabytes that was in the M4 iPad Pro. When comparing prices, we start with the 256 gigabytes models. Apple rarely increases prices two years in a row, but there are ongoing talks by the Trump administration in the U.S. of implementing tariffs on chips not made in the U.S. Apple's M5 chip is made in Taiwan by TSMC and could be subjected to a tariff. Should it go into effect? It could raise the price of the M5 iPad Pro in the US on March 31st. Mark Gurman reported that the M5 iPad Pro will be a chip and ship product. That means it will get the new M5 chip and no other new features. 
The M4 iPad Pro from 2024 had several major upgrades to components and features that don't typically change from generation to generation, including new OLED displays, an option for nanotexture glass, dollar 100 slash pound 100, moving the front-facing camera to the longer side, upgrade to the main camera to 12MP with true tone flash and a LiDAR scanner, eliminating the 128GB storage option and setting the base level to 256GB. Those features aren't expected to change with the M5 iPad Pro, so the only major component to change will be the chip from the M4 to the M5. Apple's new C1 modem is unlikely to make an appearance until a model with MMWave arrives, likely in 2026. That the ELEC reports that Apple is considering LX Semicon's display driver IC, DDI, that uses LG Inatex chip on film, COF. This implementation allows for tighter hardware integration, which could then allow for smaller bezels and more usable screen without having to make the iPad itself bigger. We'll keep updating this article as more information becomes available. Until then, you should check out our best iPad Pro deals to see if you can bag yourself a bargain on the current range. iPad Pro M5, 2025, release date expectations, price estimates and upgrades. Apple is expected to launch the next-gen iPad Pro later this year, likely in the fall, and it is shaping up to be a serious powerhouse. This will be the 8th generation of the Pro model and all signs point to it being even more capable than the current iPad Pro M4, 2024. The big reason? A new chip. Apple looks ready to roll out its next-gen M5 chip in the upcoming iPad Pro and if history tells us anything, it should bring a solid jump in both speed and efficiency. Every chip upgrade so far has pushed things forward and the M5 is expected to keep that streak going better performance, longer battery life, all-around smoother experience. When it comes to design, don't expect big changes this time. Apple already revamped the iPad Pro in 2024, so it is pretty unlikely it will switch things up again just a year later. That means we are probably getting the same sleek, super slim build with OLED displays in two sizes, a 120Hz refresh rate and up to 1000 nits of brickness reportedly, the new models have already reached an advanced testing phase and mass production is set to kick off in the second half of the year. If all goes according to plan, Apple could unveil the next-gen iPad Pro lineup around October. That would line up nicely with the launch timeline of previous models like the 2018 and 2022 versions. However, the most recent iPad Pro models dropped in May 2024, so you never know with Apple and what the company could decide. iPad Pro M5 price. There is no doubt the iPad Pro M5 will come with different price tags depending on the configuration you choose. But whether those prices will stay the same or climb higher, that is still up in the air. The current model already saw a slight price bump, so another hike this year didn't seem likely, at least not at first. But with the new tariffs introduced by the Trump administration, a price increase could still be on the table.